good evening everyone how's things how's everybody doing this evenings uh voxel trots mega gamer retro fox coffee cup arcade good to see all the, all the regulars all of the regulars and Sigurbjorn. All right, there are 13 different ways for three fastest horses in a horse race to finish, allowing for tears. In fact, it can be expressed mathematically by 13 being the third ordered bell. No, 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 just, just no. I do smart things for a living. I don't want to do smart things on my stream. Welcome, Sigurbjorn. Thank you so much for the subscription. 13 months. That that is awesome. I feel bad. I haven't subscribed to your stream nearly that long. Oh, hope you were doing well, though. Time move big. Yo, yeah, definitely. I can understand big big messes and moves. Uh, I moved in here. I mean, well, I didn't start streaming for like a year after I moved in here, and this place was just just. Well, it was actually a little worse than it is right now. It's kind of bad right now. It really needs really needs to be cleaned up. But um, thanks everyone for for hanging out, for showing up. Uh, hope you've all had a, had a good day. Hope you have a good rest of the week as well. Barely you've seen any Vic stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I realized um, I've so a lot of people have have seen my my Mister 500 Plus, the uh, the Mister shoved into a, a Commodore uh, 500 Plus shell, and um, I really have I really have enjoyed messing about with this and it gives me a reason to experiment with other cores. And I realized I've hardly ever done any Vic 20 stuff, like really hardly any. So, uh, yeah, figure what the heck, I'll try to figure out. So, of course, you know, put out on uh, uh, some discords and stuff. It's like, hey, give me some games to play. I get some good suggestions. A lot of stuff from uh, Future Was 8-Bit. Um, and then, uh, you know, other archives. So it's going to be a mix of, of modern and vintage games tonight. Uh, but I've got to figure out, like, how to run them, because the VIC-20 seems to have, like, Speaking of horse permutations, VIC-20 memory permutations are, are pretty crazy too because all, all the possible different configurations your stuff might need and some stuff needs to be unexpanded. And when it wants to be unexpanded, it really wants an unexpanded VIC. Like it won't run with extra memory, so. VIC-20 memory management is very weird. Yes, it is, absolutely. So uh, yeah, uh, the other thing I have figured out about the the mist the Mister cores for the Vic 20 is uh, y you probably notice that there's an extra keyboard sitting on top of my wedge, and it's because the lack of the F11 key is absolutely killing me right now. So I'm gonna have to do something about the uh, keyboard management code in here and find some way to press F11 and F12 uh, on this keyboard. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out what yet. Maybe some maybe I can work some sort of key combo. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I had to plug in a, an external USB keyboard to my keyboard. Ah, uh, well, what you gonna do? Start of the VIC-20, and it's annoying to manage the memory and what you need for software. Yep, that's kind of what I figured out. Kind of what I figured out uh, messing about with this thing. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be fun. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fun. Remapping in the core options. Yeah, uh, there there are, you can control all three memory places, all three places you can stuff memory into the memory map of a VIC-20. You can control what's what options are there, and you have to have the right permutation for the right software. Super annoying, luckily a lot of the software uh, in the archives that I found has readme's telling you what configuration it needs. And then there's like multi-load, carts, which I have not figured out, like cartridges that need to exist in different memory ranges. Uh, it's it's a hot mess. It's just a hot mess. That's all there is to it. Yeah, it doesn't auto-configure, exactly. Um, so let's see, uh, what's new around here? Oh, I have some new stuff, actually. Sitting down looking at this appropriately placed box. So although the BBC Master is not yet functional, that poor machine still needs some work. I got some stuff in for it. So uh, uh, this is this is from uh, from Sunbee, Kiel Sunbee, and as you can see I haven't even unpacked it yet. But some of this uh, will be perfectly usable on the Model B. Some of it wants for the Master. But I'm I'm happy about this. So this is a, a ROM switcher for the Model B. 
uh, sorry, for the master. And this combined with this little rotary switch will let me turn, select original OS, master, the improved master OS, or the B, or I think even the B plus ROM. So I can basically turn my turn my BBC master into any one of those other machines just with a flick of a switch. And this I think is designed to fit into one of the existing case openings. Uh, so this would be very cool once I finally get that uh, master up and running. No, we already heard this song, Fubar. You can go away. I'll probably turn you off in a minute anyway. And then the other very cool thing that I've been looking forward to is this, which is a Pi Tube Direct. And uh, basically it's just a bunch of level shifters and a right angle board. But this will allow me to put a Raspberry Pi Zero into the tube port of my BBC. And that, uh, coupled with the SD card that he provided, uh, allows the BBC to emulate, I think, all of the possible available tube coprocessor options for the BBC. Um, so that'll be very exciting. I can run Tube Elite. Uh, I can run the, the CPM Z80. Uh, you can even like let it use the raw ARM processor on the on the Pi. Um, there's not a heck of a lot of stuff you can do with the tube on a BBC, but I was just like, this is cool. I need to play with this. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, the poor BBC still under the workbench. I need need to figure out what is up with that machine. It's it's still behaving exactly like it used to. I've tried a couple other things in the meantime. Um, my post to the uh, Stardot forums went completely unanswered. I don't know, I'm gonna have to sit down with a schematic and just start tracing stuff out. Maybe I'll find broken, broken somethings or convince myself what chip to text, test next. But yeah, who knows? Um, but in the meantime, we have yeah. Let's let's get this thing up. So I've got the uh, got the Vic 20 core running. I think I have it all configured to to look correct on stream. Yeah. Uh, oh, don't know where the brake key is. That's a bummer. Where where, where would they hide the brake key? I don't know. But I know I can hit Control off 11 in the, in the core and and reset the, the emulated machine so that's what we do yeah it does look good um you know obviously it's mr it's it's emulation so it is what it is but um in the meantime uh play around play some games let's see this so, yeah i so i've i've got it with a 3k uh memory add-on now yeah that's a little bit better and uh Oh, other new thing is uh, I got me a Maximizer t-shirt from, from Gwem. If anyone knows uh, Atari ST chiptune scene, uh, this is his tracker, Maximizer. That just came in, in uh, over the weekend, so I'm happy about that. Um, Voxel, does most of the library seem to be NTSC or PAL? I don't know, honestly. I mean, there were... It probably comes down to whether you're talking about uh, vintage games or, or modern homebrew. I'm, I'm honestly unsure. Uh, I th I've got it set in PAL mode right now, and we'll see if anything looks looks clearly wrong. <laughs> but I think I think most of the modern games I'm going to play tonight want want PAL. So uh, yeah, the Vic did sell very very well in the U.S. and uh, tons of tons of, of vintage uh, NTSC library for that. So I don't know. We'll see if something looks clearly wrong. Maybe I'll switch it to NTSC. So here's the. Uh, Here's the, the men, menu screen for the core. Uh, so it's, yeah, TV mode, PAL, I can switch to NTSC. Doesn't, I mean, it changes some stuff. Um, let's see, I don't, we don't need integer scaling. We're, we're okay with uh, uh, normal scaling. I don't, 
I don't need pixel perfect for this. It looks kind of looks like butt pixel perfect stuff anyway. Um, I'm not going to mess around with the skin. Well, let's see. I mean, we've got the, you know, the, the make it look like high quality butt. We've got the make it look like CRT butt. It's, you know, pretty useless options. Uh, you, you can go into the core and video processing and figure out, you know, other stuff there, but uh, I'm not going to mess with it. What I am going to do is let's, uh, let's take a look at the library. Um, so cheesy trials. Oh yeah, I did actually get that to work, but, um, let's see, cheesy trials. I can actually load as a, as a PRG, but first let's see, I think cheesy needs more RAM. So you get the three places where you can stuff RAM into the address space, RAM, XRAM 1, 2, and 3. And this one is off or 3K, this one can be up to 24K, and this one is just another 8K. And if I configure with all 35 and reset, it should pop up, yeah, 28159 free. Uh, but not everything will load. Let's see if, if I can load cheesy cheesy trials. So basically, this is a thing that confused the hell out of me. It's like, all right, I loaded the program. Why is it not running? Well, because I didn't tell it to run, basically. All right, so this is going to run with a fully expanded bit. Kind of not surprising because it's a modern game. Shift escape. Oh, is that is that break? Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right, so I have to choose which one of my experiments. This is this is kind of a fun game. Can mouse kind demonstrate cognition? Where for the C64 to launch? Oh, to launch games. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, look, let's try it. Why the heck not, right? All right, reset the machine. Still got 35k. Load the PRG. And what are you saying? Shift escape. Nope, nope, that loads off tape. Ha ha, you lose. That was cool though, I didn't know that. So so thank you for letting me know. That That's that's actually kind of cool. It boots discs and such. I mean, I'm used to the uh, uh, CBM run stop in uh, the fast loader to load off the disk in, in my C64 with the, with the, I have an Epix fast load reloaded. All right. Experiment number one, test of intelligence. <coughs> All right. So it's basically timed platforming here. Yes, the timer is serious. All right, room complete. Um, sorry, I have to make a quick adjustment to my audio settings because my HDMI capture is coming at me from both sides. Fun ping the ISS and the 100XL again. Yeah, the, the FujiNet stuff on the 100XL is, is a lot of fun. All right. Mouse climbing. All right, so, so you get to do it once in the tutorial. And then you have to do it again quickly in the maze. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed by these graphics. All right. All right now I have to get up here. Nope. Uh, don't fall down to your death. I think the 800 XL is NASA technology. They probably used them at one point, but... Ah! It's too late. Alright. Cheese. I'll learn this pattern eventually. Nope. I thought I could jump down one level. Ah. 
boy, the timing is really unforgiving in this game. I guess that's the whole point, right? Your mouse, you gotta memorize the maze. I jump up and hold fire. Okay. Okay. Oh. I have to hold I have to hold up on the uh joypad. Mmm, pixel perfect jumps, I hate them. At least I don't actually seem to be able to run out of lives, so that's kind of nice. Ah. Half a second for crying out loud. Definitely, definitely very sonically busy game. on the Mega move instantly or die. Yeah. Jump down, hold down and fire. Okay. This is the level I just played. How in the... What? out. I can't figure out how to jump. You don't seem to be able to alter your jump with the controller in midair. first cheese in the second level. Um, I ju yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm supposed to high jump over the wall. Um, Alright, well that was different. If I change the order I do stuff in. Ah. Alright. That's that's death. I have to miss that cheese. Good game. Ah. 
Nah, jump down enough to jump off the edge. jump over this stupid high jump which I can't I can't do I can't make that jump thing scrolling at the bottom is a cat I haven't even looked oh you're right I see it now that's kind of cool I cannot make this jump I can jump I can high jump but then I can't change direction mid in in flight it's not one of those games I don't know if this is something if I'm not supposed to be able to make that jump and I don't have time to like puzzle it out Ah, is it just an it's just an ordering thing? That's that's all it is. Is that you have to pick your order of the cheese very carefully? That was not right. It's like it's like a mouse maze, right? Ah, and you just you don't have enough time to screw up. You gotta you gotta know it like the back of your hand. You like this game, Coffee? You can have this game, Coffee Cup. This is not my kind of game. This is redonkulous. Shouldn't have jumped down. Brain firing. It could be a four-way, eight-way joystick. Um, no, I, I, I don't think I'm. I'm guessing that it's it's not about the execution of my jumps. It's just about the ordering of of things. All right. All right. Let's see what hellish torture I have to do in this room. I'm guessing those things mean death. So that's cool. Death. Lots of death in this room. It's a room of death. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think maybe I'm done with this game. It's technically impressive. There's only so much of it I can play. There's just only so much of it I can play. The sounds are the sounds are very relentless. Yes, it's it's that's it's that kind of game for sure. Coffee cup likes it though. All right, it has it has the coffee cup seal of approval. Let's see what what to, to play next. I think there's a game that requires only three K. Um, get the diamonds three K. Okay, and this also can. Oh no, wait. I have to reset with the new memory config, and then I can load this. 3K PRG, and it's just like, oh no, I crashed my machine. No, you didn't actually crash your machine. You just have to type run, and it runs. It's like. And this one's got, this one's got some crazy music to it, too. But, all right. 
played a little bit of this, testing things out. Alright. Get the diamonds, keys, and that shield seems to make enemies killable for a brief moment in time. Sort of Pac-Man-like. Now I'll go around. At least there's no timer in this game. Alright, I have all the diamonds. I can leave now. Replacing characters in the character room. Yeah, alright, that makes sense. Yeah. A lot, a lot about this machine that, that confused me. Alright, I'm pretty sure I don't want to touch you. I have a key, so I'll go through here. Pick up a diamond. I may or may not have been supposed to kill you. I might have been supposed to kill you instead. Let's see how it goes. Alright, I have a key. Let me get another key. Yeah, custom characters in my blocks. That makes sense. keys, so I cannot go through doors yet. Here's a key. Key shield. Kill dude. Alright. So I have to make sure, I guess, every door I go through, I can get access to a key. So I got a lot of diamonds and a lot of keys here. That makes sense. This is more my style of puzzle game. Where I can take my time and figure things out. Oh no, I think it's probably gonna run out. Oh! Dang, I did that in the wrong order. Um, let's see. Is there a way to, to nuke? There probably is a way to nuke. System, yeah, spare time. Yeah, I, I remember the, yeah, the, the, the video interface chip and then they, uh, had to figure out, yeah, basically what the heck to do with it. I don't think anyone took it seriously at first. Ram expanding rate. You had a, you had a 16k on your Vic. That's cool. All right. Um, I'm trying to see. Uh, Vic 20. Get the diamonds. Need the instructions for this one. Uh, so this one. Oh, this one came out uh, through Reset 64 magazine. That's pretty cool. Uh, shift F1, reset the level. All right, cool. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, that's, this, this was pretty expensive RAM, wasn't it? All right. I only have, all right, I can pick up one key here. Kill monster, get more keys. So I need to do the ones that get me keys before I do the ones that don't. Yeah, I think most of the, I mean, the cartridges pretty much expected you to just have the base 3K, I think, coffee cup. At least that's what I would assume. All right. You were trying to kill me, so I will kill you first. Nope. Kill you. All right. I can't kill the scorpion, but that's fine. I don't need to. I can just go behind you. Cause I don't think the scorpion chases you. Lock? 
lots of extra lives in this game. Rogers cartridge in the Vic 20. How many hours? Uh, I, I bet you played all of the hours, because that's what we did. We we played any game we had. Almost kind of didn't matter how terrible it was. We played it constantly. At least that's what I did. Oh shoot! I wasn't invincible. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna have to double up on my monster killing. Oh, it doesn't last. Your your monster killing power goes away after you kill your first monster. Oh, that sucks. So I have to only kill the monsters I absolutely have to. Okay, good to know. Because, like, this purple guy must die. Alright. Oh, yeah, a grid runner would have been good to pick up for this. I didn't, didn't think to look for it or didn't see it in any lists. Alright. Um... Got a lot of keys, three doors, but I don't need to go through all the doors. I only, I have enough keys to go through two of these three doors, but I only need, seem to need to go through one of these doors. Because if I just do that, Okay. Options. I guess it's just options. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait for you to get over there so my power lasts long enough to kill you. Alright. Same with here. Hey Texas Foodballer, what's going on? We're playing some playing some Big 20 games on the Mister. 2x option for video on Mister. I mean, I guess I'm I guess I'm allowing the overscan a bit, uh, but this is like kind of where it is. Um, is that scaling on a per core basis for the yeah, um, and I'm and I'm just left it at the, the default. Sorry, I'm just catching up with chat here. Um, well, let's just let's see what the options are. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, not that. Not that, not any of that. Oh, interesting. That's I guess that's I guess that's something right there. No whoops. All right. Is that better? Yeah, I guess that's better. How did I get back to level one? Did I like wrap around? Guess I wrapped around. Well, cool. That's that's get the diamonds, and and I think there's a sequel to this game too. What else? What else we got to load? All right. Oh, jetpack. I was like, there's a port of jetpack. Sure. Yes, please. All right. Let me reset. I have no idea how much. Okay.
Yeah, these 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 scale options just just make it actually smaller coffee cup. Um, I think that other game just uses such a very small portion of the screen. All right, uh, let's see if we can load. Let's see if we can load Jetpack. Nope, probably need a different RAM configuration. There we go. Hey, it looks just like the Spectrum. F7 for joystick, absolutely. And space, start game. Wow, that's fast, okay. Holy crapazoid. Alright. Um, and I'm even in. Uh, I'm in PAL too. This game is just redonkulously fast. This has to be like, like three times the speed of the Spectrum version. This is crazy. I am still. Yeah, I'm still on PAL. So I, I don't know if this was I don't know if this was a back in the day thing or if this was a modern port. I guess it's back in the day. Um, I guess this was was a contemporary game for the for the Vic. No way. Nah. Crap. I mean, I'm pretty bad at jetpack to begin with, but this is like a whole other level of bullet hell jetpack. Can I get it fueled up? Not with one more guy. first level. DJ Scaler Exudo sets it to 240p or whatever the system natively outputs. Yeah. Down to hover. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's cool. I did not... Is, does that work on the, uh, on the Spectrum version of Mitsuyama? I did not know that. Yeah, um... I've 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 got it outputting I have it outputting exactly what my capture device expects which is is 720p so it's just 720p throughout the whole chain cuz what my desk monitor is is my capture is and I'm just cropping off the edge in the, in the capture Th that other game just used a very small portion of the screen I think almost endlessly have one output on the CRT on HDMI yeah uh, I'm I'm j I have, it's all HDMI on this. I actually removed the VGA port from the expansion board on this mister so it would fit in the case better because I never use analog. All right. That didn't work either. All right, 
Enough of that one. Had, had enough of that game. That's just, that's too freaking fast for me. I have to see what Moon Patrol is like on this game, though. Jet Jetpack is a lot of fun on the spectrum when it's like at a reasonable speed. This is this is this is twice the speed of a, on the spectrum at least. It's freaking crazy. Um, how do I start you? Are you? I mean, you don't look like you're crashed. But you sure ain't doing anything. All right, F1, F3, F5, F7, that don't do nothing. Come on. Zip. Maybe I have the wrong RAM configuration. How big is this file? Maybe that'll give me some idea about what my RAM configuration should be. Moon Patrol, it's nine kilobytes. So, yeah, it's not gonna run on a 6K config. All right, Moon Patrol. It's got numbers up there, but I'm guessing those are milestones, maybe? Even though the milestones are supposed to be letters. I just won't start. What the heck? All right, well, maybe I'll figure it out later. This is, this is one I just downloaded and haven't checked yet. Um, let's see, Omega Race, that's a cartridge. This actually, I doesn't work. It's off the joy port. Oh, wait. Did the VIC-20 have more than one joy port? I thought the VIC-20 only had one joy port. Yeah, th yeah, there's only there's only one. Good call though, Voxel Trots, because I always forget to do that on the C64. Uh, maybe it needs to be NTSC. Let's try that. This could just be a bad dump. I mean, I'm sure this was a... Well, no, actually, I'm not sure of anything. Yep, nope. Cannot make it go. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna set it back to... Well, maybe I'll leave it in TSC, see, see if the next thing loads. Um, what's that I wanted to take a look at? Uh, this is just a bunch of games that Rod from Future is 8-bit recommended. Um, oh, we got Rodman. Let's see if I can run Rodman. There we go. Get something to drink here. Let's see what the temperature is in here. 78 Fahrenheit. Yeah, you, you do, that doesn't make you... <laughs> this is not Pac-Man, Josh. That doesn't make you invincible to monsters. Nah. Nibbler WR broke a few days ago on streams and like a 60... Oh, the Nibbler world record. Oh, wow. Please don't trap me in here. Please don't trap me in here. You damn monster. No. Also, good evening, one man conga. I don't think I've said hi to you. Hope you're hope you're well. 
watching some terrible gameplay, terrible gameplay skills. <clears throat> That's okay, in a few minutes I'll get sick of playing games and I'll try to load some demos instead. Ah. This, this would probably be a lot easier with a joystick. This is a very good looking game, absolutely sick of your own. I remember when I first saw this release, this, this was released quite a while ago. And I recall looking at it, it was like, wow, that's a Commodore VIC-20? That's pretty impressive. Man, I definitely need a four-way stick for this game. Trying to do it with a D-pad is just absolute murder. Anything special happens if I complete a board. Nope. Just move on to the next. Yeah, the sound the sound design in this game is is much better too. Those other ones were just like acoustically offensive. This one's actually using the Vic chip or whatever chip made the sound on a VIC-20. I think it was the VIC. Uh, no, no it wasn't. Um, some other chip. Very loud thing it sounds, yeah. Very loud sounds were definitely a thing with, with, with early games. And making sure that you Making sure that your game attracts all the kids in the stores and then annoys the parents in the homes. It's kind of fun, you can just run around the different mazes. Nope. Nope. Get away from me. Get away from me. Don't like you. Why did I stop? Why did you make me stop? Oh, I guess the unfilled dots actually slow you down a little bit, don't they? Or maybe not. Wow, that was uh, close. <sighs> Pac-Man with a D-pad. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, I'm like filling up some sort of bar at the bottom. Uh, don't know what that exactly does. Eh. The Vic chip has three pulse wave generators. Okay, so it was the Vic chip. All right, cool. Each pulse wave generator has a range of three octaves located on a scale about an octave apart. Total range about five octaves. Mother absolutely hated impossible missions. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, well that's that's Rodman. Um, speaking of speaking of the of the Vic, uh, I don't think I can actually get this to run. <clears throat> but there is there is a very awesome demo for an unexpanded Vic 20. <coughs> Excuse me. demo for an unexpanded VIC-20 called um, Robotic Liberation. Let's see if I can get it to load. I wasn't able to get it to load before, but um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work this time. Uh, so wait, no, it's text. Uh, first thing I want to do is reset to go back to an unexpanded, and then I can mount the disc. Now this is a disc I had to build myself from the files, but it works in Vice. So, yeah, stay forever, exactly. And this game actually streams data off of the disk because it 
it runs on an unexpanded VIC. So once we load the initial, it's like a 1K initial loader. I think I have that right. Demos. Robotic liberation. Nope, you're opening in the wrong program. I'm just taking a look at the uh, disk image. See if see if maybe I got the file name wrong. No, it's called Liberation. L-I-B-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. Um. <clears throat> oh, wait. I'm still on NTSC. I need to switch back to PAL, I'll bet. I think it already did the reset, but okay. Let's try this. it loaded before, just didn't run properly. Hey Retro Gaming Denmark, how's it going? No, there's nothing nothing else special in the in the core config. I guess it just doesn't just didn't want to run. That's a real bummer, because this is actually a really great demo. I might actually I might actually cheat and try and launch it in Vice. <sighs> because it's just really good. Let me see if I can in, all right, I need X. Uh, no, I need X Vic. Touch disk image. All right. Um, let's see. I can grab. Vic, there we go. All right, well, you all just have to put up with, with emulator stuff for a second. And why are you showing, like, CRT bars? I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this. I just want, like, normal... I guess this is as close as we get to normal. Fine. 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 Everything's fine. Load. Uh, liberation. <laughs> All right. Same, same disk image. Uh, now, I do have to set the audio so that people can actually hear it. Uh, upper mode system. Oh boy, this doesn't make it easy. This <laughs> sure doesn't make it easy. Okay. All right, fine. Let's see if this works. It probably won't. <clears throat> This is probably gonna going to fail badly. Yep. 
you're not doing anything. Why are you not doing anything? You're set to you're set to pal. Ram. I swear I had this loaded. I swear I had this loaded. All right. Doesn't work. Boo. I'm not going to spend any more time trying to make this stupidity run. Let's try something else. See if I can get some other demo working. <laughs> this was so. Uh, this right here should be the demo that preceded um, robotic liberation, and this one I believe does require some expansion. But I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, cheese and onion. Yeah, we'll play some cheese and onion. We'll play some cheese and onion. Let me try and get this thing loaded. Uh, all right, load t comma eight. See if it'll find anything on this stupid emulated disk. Cause I can see it. It's right there. No, you're just not going to run. It doesn't want to load anything off the disk. Why not? Am I am I invoking this? Am I invoking this wrong? It's it is just comma 8, right? All right, load that. T do I I don't need the dollar one, I don't need the comma one on a Vic do I or or do I nope that's not what I'm looking for thank you very much Yep. All right, let's see if I can get a directory listing. Just, just nothing. Just completely unhappy with me. Why are you so unhappy with me? Is this core like half written? External IEC. I don't know what that means. Cheese and onion crisp, something you missed from the UK. Don't see them in the US. I know. I I don't I don't think that's a don't think that's a US thing. All right, fine, fine. We get no demos. Um, do I have cheese and onion? I don't have cheese and onion. I thought I had cheese and onion. Because this, I think, is just cheesy trials. <coughs> Another copy of it. Hmm. Okay. Psycho Shopper? I, I don't know. It's another one of those that, that Rod from Future Was 8-Bit was just like, yeah, I'll play this game. He could be completely trolling me, for all I know. Let, let's try a fully expanded Vic. All right. This looks like Cheesy Trials again. Yep, it's Cheesy Trials. All right. Ports full disk with write, so it's supposed to work. I I thought so. 
I'm just typical me fashion ain't getting it to work. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm looking. Yeah, uh, cheese and onion. Yeah, it's a disc. It's it's not a not a PRG. All right. So once again, have to make the disc work. Unless I fragged something up. Yeah, I just not not working from the disc. Why are you not working from the disc? <sighs> That's all. This is all video stuff. Got the RAM. This game, I this game is pretty clear. Well, or maybe it it says it needs 32k. Maybe that needs I need this 3k off. All right, reset. Mount the disc. Yeah, all right. She's needing 32k, but still, I should be able to load a disc directory. I haven't even loaded the game yet. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. It's just, all right, it's just loader. Load, loader. Oh, it's actually called loader.prg. It's not going to find it anyway. Disk is completely hosed on this emulator, and I don't know why. Try device 9. Okay, sure. I'll try device 9. Just like, like what disc? I have no disc. What are you talking about? Yeah, it is weird. The only other thing I can think to do is is maybe change to an official kernel. I think it's I think it's got the right kernel. Load. Nope. Yeah, just, just freaking weird. Disk not working at all on on this Mister Core. Boo. That is that is a major bummer. Hmm. Terrible. Yeah, this is absolutely terrible. This is super terrible. All right, I wonder if I can run any of these. These should be demos. Nope. I'm gonna enable, enable all the RAM. Enable all the RAM. Kernel ROM options. It's set to loadable. Like so that I have no idea what this means. All right, standard. Back to 32K, reset. All right, Retro Gaming Denmark, give me a clue. Play a type-in game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that that that'll be one hell of a stream when I finally decide to do a a type in game. All right, Colonel. Well, all right, mount cheese and onion. Yeah, mount cheese and onion. Load dollar sign eight. Oh, what the? Okay. All right. Okay. Nope. I have to list. All right. Load. Loader. PRG. Eight. Okay. Good call on that one, Sigiburin. Thank you. File not found. Ah, except I typed a comma. Load. Loader. Dot. PRG. Comma eight. Loading. This is a known bug. It's been fixed at cores old. I thought I, I thought I updated this thing recently, but okay. All right. <clears throat> Yay. Unfortunately, I don't have another Ethernet cable here at my at my bench to to update the core. Hmm. What did it say this version is? Oh, wait a second. It should tell us. Or not. Okay, 22 February 16th. All right, so I guess that is kind of old. I thought I updated this thing recently. All right. Well, good. Maybe we can maybe we can load Liberation then. That would be that would be nice. I would like that. Yeah. Good old Commodore disk load times. <laughs> um, I was kind of expecting to see something on the screen, though. Maybe I need all the RAM. Let's load it again. All right. All right, I need to do I need to do a cold reset here. Come on. What are, you, what are you doing, machine? I have to reload the whole core? All right. Kernel the standard. Enable all the RAMs. Reset the machine to commit the RAM change. Load the disk. Load. Can I do the whole star? thing. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Ah, oh, requires 32k expansion, which means it needs 35k total. So yeah, I had that first 3k turned off when I shouldn't have. Bad Josh, read the instructions. Yes, all the RAM. Big 20 less than 40 columns. Yeah, it's like like 25, 26 columns. Somebody here will know the answer. Bureau will know the answer. He knows the answer to everything. But yeah, it is less than 40 columns. Yeah, it's major, major chonker text. But you know, it looked good on a terrible television.
28. Yeah, that sounds about right. And yes, they did make word processors for this thing, which is shocking. There was some sort of 40 column solution for the uh yeah, 40 column hack. Yeah, there's yeah, there's some sort of 40 column solution for the for the Vic 20, I remember. Now, do we get anything on the screen? No. Get no screens. No screens for you. <laughs> Maybe this is just a super buggy core. I wonder if I unceremoniously switch it to NTSC in the middle of running a program. Twenty-two columns is enough for anyone, yeah. Nope. Just super, super unhappy. <laughs> yeah. Specify where it needs its weird RAM. Well, the, uh... Music's good, at least. Um, the... 32K expansion is just all of the RAM. Every single expansion on and maxed out. Where should it sit? It it sits in it sits the only place it can because you have you have no options in this. It's just every place you can possibly stuff RAM, you stuff RAM. It's the only way to get it to 35K. Um yeah, I don't have any options. And you're yeah, you're just completely hosed. Man, I wish I had updated my cores. This is Frustrating. And good evening, bald engineer. How you doing? I'm I'm apparently struggling to get a, a buggy Vic 20 core to run properly. I wonder I wonder how much it would take to. It's a little bit difficult to get to the SD card on this thing. But maybe I can maybe I can get it. I just need a spudger here. I have to undo this other clip. Luckily, I haven't put the uh, screws back in the case yet. Yeah, there we are. So okay, power off. And then I can pop the SD card out. It's a little bit hard to get to around the PC board mounts. Yes, it really is a Mr. and an Amiga 500 case. All right, got the SD card. I gotta find a uh, micro adapter, there we go. This, pop this in. Oh, thank you, thank you, Retro Gaming Denmark. Yeah, um, for folks who have not uh, seen much of the Mister 500, uh, here it is. Uh, it's running the original keyboard into an Arduino Micro down there that decodes it and turns it into USB HID, and that's plugged into one of the slots on this USB hub. Uh, so I got two internal ports and uh, two external ports, and then this is a little pigtail for the Ethernet. <laughs> yeah, I, I did make my own Kira. Um, I actually bought a thing. It's not actually a Kira that I I bought that goes here and gives you joystick ports too. But the soft it was a project that that uh, a guy I'm friends with on Twitter 
uh, back when I used it. A guy I was friends with, it was a project of his, but this, there was something wrong with the software. So I switched to this other thing and, and that's working for right now. But um, let's see, uh, Vic20, uh, Mr. Core. Don't see if I can get a, a newer release on here. Um, well, the latest release is apparently the one I'm running. Uh, 2022 February 16. So that's weird. Are there pre-releases? Huh. This many cartridges and multi-part cartridges. Hmm. I haven't even I haven't even gotten to trying the cartridges yet. Disk write support D sixty four. Yeah, all right. That is. Yeah, the the core is up to date, so I don't I don't know what's going on. But it did it did give me a reason to show off the guts of the Mister Five Hundred. This was this was a battery bombed. Amiga 500 Plus that uh, a buddy of mine from the UK sent me. So I harvested the custom chips and the RAM and stuff like that and I was like, I'm gonna have fun messing around with the shell. I did not design it, unfortunately, to have the SD card removed. Did I get it in there? Yeah, I got it in there. Bug sounded basically exactly like what we hit. Fixed but not released, or perhaps it's not actually fixed. I don't know. I mean, I know there are lots of, like, in the Mr. Discord, there's lots of pre-release cores flying around and stuff like that. So it could be that it's not an official build, and I just haven't picked it up. I don't... I don't frequent the Mr. Discord. So yeah, I don't know, and and I've un, until yesterday when I got this thing out and decided I was going to do this on the stream, I've never touched the Vic Twenty stuff. <laughs> Come on, we should have yeah. There we go. Come on. Bingo. Hmm. Now my USB peripherals aren't working. Did I did I knock my hub connection loose? Oh god. kind of fly-by-night stream operation is this? Well, USB seems to be attached just fine. <laughs> Alright, reset. That was weird. <laughs> Clearly a very stable system. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's see if we can load, let's see if we can load anything here. I'm going to, I'm going to crank up the RAM. Go back to the PRGs, see if I can load one of these demos.
There we go. Kinda, sorta. Hey, Litwarski, how you doing? I am struggling mightily with the VIC-20 core tonight. I'm trying to make it uh, run some demos, and it almost ran. <laughs> Like we got we got something. Could try maybe not fully expanded. Nope. Fully expanded was better. But still still very unhappy. I have a feeling this core is just not accurate enough to run some of this stuff. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, so so I tried to get Robotic Liberation to load a little bit. I guess I haven't tried since I changed that other setting. Alright, load Robotic Liberation. Load. All right. I do not expect this to work, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. We did not get lucky. We did not even slightly get lucky. Oh wait, <laughs> Robotic Liberation wants an unexpanded VIC-20. Don't let the hitch guy hear you say that about cores, yeah. Yeah, I know. Hitch will get mad at me for dissing FPGA emulation. He loves it so much. All right. Let's try it again. No one who owned a VIC-20. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Retro Gaming Denmark. All right. This is a very disk loader intensive demo. I just, I don't see it working. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. It's It's been a day at work, so just figured I'd mess about with uh, with my Mr. 500 Plus. I've, I've never really messed with VIC-20 stuff, so I, I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, so at this point, second so going, it would be loading the first stage of the demo, but it's it's not. It would have started by now. Um, even even the version uh, that I was running in in Vice, which actually did work, uh, which is is really weird that I couldn't get it running in, in Vice a minute ago. <laughs> um, let's see, do I still have? No, I, go away, Windows. Windows is mad at me because I inserted an SD card it couldn't read. Uh, nah, heck with this. Used a VIC-21 many years ago. Like 42, um, 42, 42 VICs or 42 years? I'm guessing it's years. All right. Very, very unhappy machine. All right, do I have anything else that we should load? All right, let's put some more RAM in, because I'm pretty sure most of the demos want a fully expanded. Nope, I, I want to go disk. Let's see what TRSI has, has to say on the, on the VIC, if I... One more shot at loading something from disk. Oh, this is the best we've had so far. Let's see if it gets to a point where it wants to make some sound or do any other graphics. 
Uh, yes, I do have uh, this. This is this is my Mister Five Hundred Plus. Wow, we have demo. tell if it's decrunching the next part or if it's just crashed. But at least it loaded and ran something. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to look like this either, Retrobox. seems that way, uh, Hitch. And I know, like, demos really want to torture this machine, and so I get it, like, it's accurate enough for games, or at least old games, but maybe not accurate enough for demos. Eh. Yeah, demos, demos do plenty of tricks, and you gotta be, you gotta be damn good to run a demo in an emulator. Yeah, some of the computer cores. The, the Apple II is not a great either, you know? Well, alright, fine. You know what? Hell with all this. Let's just rip it out, put a frickin' Raspberry Pi in it. Clearly I have made... made the wrong choice. I should just... I should just put a Raspberry Pi in it. That'll make Hitch happier. See? It'll fit perfectly. Right in there. Run everything you could possibly want. Almost got a demo running. We kind of got a demo running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Leet won at FPGA. Should have just stuck a pie in it. 
Let me get that on my t-shirt. Should have just stuck a pie in it. Frickin' demos and their unreadable scrollers. You buy that t-shirt, Hitch. I'll be sure to send you one if I ever get them made. Alright. Well, this has been fun, but... Oh yeah, I'm definitely not going to get rid of any of my real hardware. I mean, the Mr. is... The Mr. runs a bunch of things that I don't have well. <laughs> Sadly, the VIC-20 is not one of them. Um, it kind of pushes the VIC-20 a little higher on my list of machines I'd like to actually acquire. Which is annoying. Well, alright. We, we, we all laugh about, about Raspberry Pis and, and software emulators, but the fact is BMC64, which is the bare metal Commodore 64 emulator for Raspberry Pi is really freaking good. It's it's based on Vice, and it just, I mean, it just works. Um, I've, I I I have another I have a BMC 64 card around here somewhere for Raspberry Pi. Stuff like Apple that you'd emulate. So typically, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Apple the Apple emulation Apple emulation in general I, honestly is not that good. There's only a few. They're they're really good and and to tell the truth, Mame has become a damn good Apple II emulator lately. Um, it's it has really had a lot of work done on it, particularly the 2GS because there's just no other good 2GS emulator out there. The best 2GS emulator out there by far is Mame. Yeah, let, let's 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 play some other games. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna put this back to stock and. We're gonna load some ROM, some cartridge games. So yeah, it surprised me too, Hitch, but it didn't used to be very good, but then apparently someone who really knows Apple started committing uh, to, to MAME and almost overnight, like seriously, within less than a year, it went from, yeah, it kind of works, to damn, this is a good emulator. Uh, RetroArch? No, I, I mean I mean MAME for the Apple II. Uh, RetroArch? I don't know about RetroArch for the VIC-20. Um, alright, let's find some... So, alright, Omega Race. This... I think, so... In reading through the docs, I, there's some stuff about cartridges needing to load at certain places, and so you change the... If you have a cartridge image that doesn't have a header on it, you change the extension to tell it where to load the stupid thing. So, all right, so I load that, and then I have to press Control F11 to soft reset the emulator, and we get a Mega Race. All right, cool. Um, F1 joystick. All right. So, okay. Okay, no matter no matter which way you're pointed. No matter which way you're pointed, up thrusts. Yeah. Playing this today on 3DO. Yeah, I'll bet it didn't look like this. Omega Race on 3DO? What? That sounds that sounds super weird. Like why would they make Omega Race for the 3DO? I, I I almost wonder why you'd make Omega Race for anything, honestly. Because other than other than in the arcade where you have a spinner, it's just a terrible game. The car racing game. <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. Mega race, not Omega race. Uh -huh, yeah. Funny guy. Funny guy. 
Yeah, ZX81 owners are the only people whose minds will be blown by the Big 20. That was so lucky, and then it wasn't. All right. Uh. So, like, I know you need to clear the level quickly before the music changes and that guy really starts coming after you, but, man, that's ridiculous. No matter if Vic Twenty came to play a Spectrum, yeah. I I I would. I'm I'm glad I own two Spectrums and not two Vic Twenties. Um, the Vic the Vic Twenty, I I I mean the modern modern games, completely save it. I'm sure. All right, what other cartridge games can we play? Um, I think I'm not sure. I got Radar Rat Race to load. Yeah, this is all this is also supposed to load there, but just reboots. No, nah, no, that's not working. More in a big 20 now than you ever was something cuz you didn't really use one. Yeah, that's true. When the Big Twenty comes. Uh, all right, that that is actually a, a fair statement. It was it was four year old technology when it when it came out, and it was quickly superseded. So fair point. Do I have any other cartridges? Any other cartridge games? I don't know. All right, someone wanted to see Psycho Shopper. Let me let me. Uh, <laughs> Add some RAM to this sucker because it's probably going to need it. I'm just completely guessing about the RAM config here. And then we will load Psycho Shopper. See if I can run it. Hey, look at that. Mastertronic game. Prepare to meet thy doom. Okay. Oh, it's like Frogger, isn't it? Oh, I can't touch the, the other dude? What the hell? Alright, what are these things? I don't know what they are. Looks like they might be important, though. It is kind of a fun looking game. I think if the video weren't glitching, it would have like a real sort of vector effect to it. Nah, get away from me, get away from me. I don't know why, but no. the first level. <laughs> Button to activate. Hey, I'm walking here. Alright, the main... Oh, the main road. Okay, fine. Ah, overshot. Is that my life counter in the top right? I bet it is. But this is the last try. Well, 
Yeah, I get it. My game is over. <laughs> that, all right, that's kind of crazy. Um, all right, what else we got? Um, let's see, Snake Pit was another one that was recommended. I'm trying to think what other, uh, I can't remember what all these games are. I'm sorry. Just throw in, throw in more RAM. When in doubt, throw in more RAM. <coughs> nope. Gorf, Gorf, oh, okay, all right, yeah. Gorf, I at least did get to run. I'm gonna warn you, ain't a terrific version, but, no, hang on. I have to turn off the expansion RAM to get the original cartridges to run, I'm pretty sure. Magic key sequence, Gorf. Yeah, we have a Gorf cabinet at the local arcade here, and it is it is a lot of fun. It's a fun game. Okay, Joe's barely survived that one. I'm sure I won't make it past laser attack. Nope. I can just hear it yelling at me, bad move, space cadet. Oh man. I actually did make it through, that's kind of crazy. Is it just me, or is the meteors, like, a new thing for this game? I don't recall that from the arcade game. Oh no, those are sh shots. It's shooting at me. It's shooting at me. Bite the dust, space god at... Dragon 32 and Vic 20 owners got along. past this level, but... Dodging their shots is really freaking hard. Mm. All right. Holy Grail is still a Dragon 200. Ooh, I've never even heard of that. I assume it was some other memory enhanced version of the Dragon. Um. One, two, a lot of... Yeah, I mean, the Dragon's... It's, you know, it's a, it's a Coco 2. But it was still good. 
bottle Spain basically bought all the two hundreds. Okay, sharp. Yeah, the sharp MZs. Oh, it has RGB. Interesting. I don't know anything about the sharp MZs. I, a lot of a lot of my friends on on the the interwebs own or collect MZs. This is a guy who's selling a bunch of them right now, actually, from his collection. But I don't know anything about it other than they don't ship with basic. The only thing I know about the Sharp MZs is how to get basic loaded on them, because every year at the Basic 10 line competition, we get Sharp MZ basic games. Go figure. I know the Coco 3 has RGB, and I do have a Coco 3, but I barely use it. Um, I need. I need to find the cool games, and I need to get an RGB cable because I don't have an RGB cable for mine. Eh, I don't know enough about the dragons to know to know what what their what their video output was. Um, I mostly just know the 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 Tandy Coco units. I don't. Well, now hang on. The video chip. Could you even get RGB out of the video chip in that? I guess you could. It was a, it was a TMS ninety nine eighteen, right? No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's a Motorola machine. It's a Motorola machine. Um, so I guess it was might have been a sixty eight forty five, and maybe that maybe that did come in an RGB version. I can't remember. <coughs> yeah, I think you could. Yeah, it was pretty easy to to hack. Um, Coco and Dragon games to work with the other and vice versa. If I recall correctly, I've I've never messed with the Dragon. I know they were sold here in the states for a little while. There's a company called uh, Tano down in Louisiana that that imported Dragons and sold them in the states. But <clears throat> yeah, Coco Three definitely had VGA, or uh, RGB, not VGA. And like I said, I still need to get an RGB cable for mine. All right. One last, one last thing. Let's see if there's anything worth going out on. Pump Kid. Let's try that. That that's another recent release. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back here and put some more RAM in this thing now. Let's try this. All right, another feature was 8-bit release. All right, so I think I have to collect, I think this is a collect em up. Um, remember exactly what the heck I'm doing. All right, the candy does like, all right, yeah, you, you collect candy, and then, then with the candy, you can blast the baddies. That's what it is. Nope. I shot you. <laughs> that, all right, that's some good art for the, for the uh, Big 20. All right. Give me some candy. thing with this game I think is that which turns turns you into a pumpkin and then you have to <clears throat> do battle as a pumpkin whoops oh at least you don't lose your shots if you miss that's kind of cool I I shot I shot you I freaking shot you all right something happened Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Shroom Tech. I appreciate it. All right. Almost out of pumpkins here. Big 20 self-assembly kits. Um, oh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I know. I know Rod sells game cartridges uh, and carts and tape uh, for for Big 20 and C64.
Maybe I have to take out the ghost first. Oh no. Nope, I got that. Oh! Did the witch respawn and kill me? What the hell? How am I supposed to kill the witch? Alright, maybe I just focus on the ghosts for now. Ghosts. Nope. All right, the witch just like respawns and comes after you. Now what? Oh, they're, like, coming alive from the gravestones? Got by a zombie. Alright. <laughs> Making me want a Vic-20. Alright, well, I think we're gonna leave it there. This, this was a fun game. Uh, if I read the instructions, probably figure out a little bit better how it works. Um, I think it's for me it's like the C64 where the modern game scene is just so much better than than the vintage games I've probably offended like half the people watching this stream by saying that but I I, I really love the modern C64 game dev scene uh, and there are very very few old games for C64 that I really like Gorf is solid on the Vic yeah uh, that 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 was all right for Vic Twenty. I will give it that. Yeah. Unlike the brown scene. <laughs> yeah. Well. Let's see. Just I'm just trying to catch up. I miss I miss so much about chat. More more talking about dragons, dragons and cocos. Yeah, game development has has come a long way since the 80s. Absolutely. All right, all right. Bald engineer was probably offended. We'll we'll leave it at that. Um, so thanks everyone. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, this 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 turned out to be fun. A little bit a little more frustrating than I wanted it to. Uh, and and not as many demos as I wanted to be able to run. But, eh, who knows? So uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Maybe I acquire a real Vic-20 or at some point in the future. Uh, thank you all for, for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, Siggy Brew on RetroFox, uh, Hitch, ShroomTech, Bald Engineer, Lidwarski, thanks. It's good to see all you, good to see all you folks. Um, anyone I've missed, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a little, little late in my brain. Retro Gaming Denmark, hey. Um, so next time, like I said, we've got the... Uh, I've got the the pie tube direct, so I can. Uh, you you also tune in next time, Hitch, when we're when we're gonna put Good a pie game. into a BBC Micro. We're gonna stick a Raspberry Pi up the tube slot of a BBC Micro. Everyone's favorite. Put a pie in it. Um, more stuff to do. I've got a uh, Tandy coming in for repairs. Might stream a little bit of that. We'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, I've still got the. Uh, I got I got projects for days. I got projects for days, um, but I just felt like taking a break, playing some games tonight. Yeah. So uh, let's see if there's if there's anything going on 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 the on the twitches for as far as raids go. Usually not. It's kind of kind of dead around this time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it tonight. Do you have days for projects? I do not. Sadly, I really do not. Um, I don't have enough time. I need to spend. I've, I've well, I've been playing some more modern games, honestly, rather than than working on these things. This is my my stream is one of the few times that I play old games on these machines. Otherwise, I just wind up fixing them and acquiring new ones. I'm I'm actually 
I'm gonna be acquiring another machine. I've just I just paid for the shipping today. Uh, another UK machine, uh, which will be a lot of fun. It's a machine I've wanted to have for quite a while. Um, modern planes. I, I, I'm game. I'm playing a game called Creeks by Amanita Design. It's a puzzle platformer. More more puzzle, but definitely puzzle platformer. Uh, not a point and click, which is my usual go to. Uh, but so far, it's been really fun. Um, the the puzzles are are well thought out, and uh, I've been I've been really enjoying it. the The music is good. I really love all the games from Amanita Design. Um, well, not all of them, but almost all of them. Machinarium is probably one of my top top games, uh, and the Samaros series also really good. Uh, thanks for the cheer, Texas Foosball. I really appreciate it. Metro, you play Destiny too. That's not sad. Uh, Lady Otheros plays Destiny. That's She's probably playing Destiny right now. Um, uh, people people play what they play. People love what they love. It's it's games. It's entertainment. Ain't ain't no shame in, in ain't no shame in playing the game. And uh, yeah. So thanks everyone for hanging out, um, putting up with with the the flaky Vic Twenty Core. We'll come up with some more shenanigans for next week. And uh, have a good evening.